Missande is with Daenerys when she learns that an unsullied named White Rat is murdered in a brothel by an insurgents group named the Sons of the Harpy, intent on removing Daenerys from power. The Council questions why the Myronese would go to such lengths, guessing that some were comfortable with the fact that slavery existed as the lowest social quality of life. Missande then approaches Grey Worm, asking why an unsullied would want to go to a brothel. Grey Worm states that he does not know and leaves. Missande is at Daenerys's council when they discuss what should be done with the son of the harpy who has been arrested following his capture by Grey Worm and Dario. Later, she is present when Mossida is publicly executed for murdering the prisoner before a fair trial could take place. She flees with Daenerys once a riot breaks out after the execution. She appears saddened when a despondent Daenerys excuses her counsel following the recent conflict. Missande is present alongside Daenerys and Dario when his Darzo Lorak yet again tries to convince to Daenerys that the fighting pits of Marine should be reopened. Missande tearfully watches over Grey Worm as he is lying unconscious on a bed, following an attack from the Sons of the Harpy, in which Barristan is killed. She is present later when Grey Worm wakes up from lying unconscious in three days. Grey Worm states that he feels ashamed of himself for being afraid, to which Missande responds that all men fear death. Grey Worm then says that the reason he was afraid wasn't because of death itself but because he would never be able to see, Missande from the island of Narth, again. Missande is touched with tears by this and leans over to give Grey Worm a kiss. Missande is later asked for advice by Daenerys regarding her current situation. Missande say that she doesn't think she is fit to give advice to a queen, which Daenerys thinks is absurd and states that she thinks Missande is as fit as anyone to have a say in this. Missande says that instead of listening to her counselors, Daenerys should perhaps listen to her heart instead. This leads to Daenerys reopening the fighting pits and proposing to Hisdar. Missande is present when Tyrion and Jorah are brought before Daenerys in the Great Pyramid after they make themselves known to the Dragon Queen when she attends the first series of duels in preparation for the Great Games at Dizonax Pit. She witnesses as Tyrion explains himself and when Jorah is again banished from Marine. Missande later attends Daenerys during the opening games at Dizonax Pit. She remains quiet through most of the proceedings, observing the verbal sparring between Hisdar and Dario and looking at Danny with concern when Jorah shows up again. When the sons of the harpy rise up begin slaughtering the spectators, Missande is momentarily forgotten by Dario and Jorah, who are busy trying to get Daenerys away. Missande is rescued by Tyrion, who kills the son of the harpy and gets them behind a line of unsullied. Thinking she is about to die, Daenerys grabs Missande's hand, but the group is rescued by Drogon seconds later. Missande and the others watch in amazement when Danny rides off on Drogon's back. As Tyrion, Jorah, and Dario argue over how to proceed, Missande brings Grey Worm to them. Missande attempts to explain to Grey Worm how Tyrion saved her, trying to diplomatically avoid using the High Valyrian for dwarf. However, Tyrion, in his typical bluntness, corrects her. She repays the favor by telling Tyrion that his High Valyrian is rusty, as opposed to nostril. When Dario and Jorah decide to leave the city and search for Daenerys, Dario tells the other three to stay put, since Missande, as Daenerys's closest confidant, will be needed to help Grey Worm and Tyrion run Marine in the Queen's absence.